Hello everyone and welcome to Trail Tracker. So here we are back for another epic tour guide near Altstetten in St Gallen and along for the ride today we've got Stephen and Gav. Double trouble. The start of the climb from Altstetten is properly steep. That's a bit of a wake-up call at the beginning of the ride. 13% climb. Thankfully though, the gradient eases off as you climb further up the hill and after about an hour of pedalling, we finally reached St. Anton, the highest point on the tour where you'll find a small restaurant which is an ideal spot to stop and admire the view and have some refreshments. After the restaurant, it's just a short pedal along the ridge to the first trail of the tour. Now, considering this trail isn't particularly steep, well, apart from this one rock roll in the middle, it is very spicy. It spends most of the time on a ridge in the woods with plenty of roots and rocks to negotiate and an ever-present drop off to the side. After about five minutes of solid single track descending, you exit the woods and hit a short road section. If you're gonna bring an e-biker, you need to get him to tow you. You've got to pedal some. Stephen is pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> so this tour is not all gravy. There are some climbs in the middle and this one is probably the nastiest but if you're on an e-bike or you're extremely fit you can ride up here but otherwise it's not such a long hike a bike once you've made it up the initial climb you'll find yourself on another ridge and just like the first trail it really helps to carry a little bit of speed to prevent you from hooking up on all the roots and rocks. You do need to watch out for ring dingers though. So I'd be wary of running those tyre pressures too low or you could end up in the same boat as Gav. Oh, I got a flat tyre. When you get to the junction in the trail, turn right and get yourself ready for one of the trickier and steeper sections of trail on the whole tour. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yes, that is quite hairy. It's then just a short pedal along the fire road before you dive off to the left and straight back into the action. Even though the trail surface is far from smooth, with no significant drops on either side, you can definitely get off the brakes a bit more on this third trail and start to play around a bit and attack some of those corners. The traverse that follows includes a couple of short pushes and drops you out on the road just above the entrance to the next trail near Ahorn. This next trail starts with some fairly tight, but nevertheless rideable switchbacks. Slow, but no dabs. <laughs> All right again. It's like nearly over the handlebar, gnarly. Uh -huh. 
That is really tricky. Zero dabs. No, Zero that's really, Yeah. Really not me. I can feet up. The second half of the trail is a completely different story. Just watch out for the sting in its tail. Oh, that was fucking close. Oh, I... Fuck, I got caught my chain ring on the route as we were right over the top. Trail number five of the tour is basically just a short set of switchbacks. But if you manage the ones on the previous trail, these ones should be no problem since they aren't anywhere near as steep. If you dab and no one's there to see you do it, did you dab? No, no. Sweet. Those ones are easier. These are easier, yeah. <laughs> Penultimate trail is super narrow at the beginning. And while it may be short, it is definitely worth the climb to get to the entrance. After that, it's just a very short climb up the road to Bruchtobel, where you'll find the start of the final trail of the tour down the Martinsdobel to Marbach, which is an interesting mix of relatively harmless and quite disconcerting. Oh, fuck! Man, I hate those spikes, they're shocking. Thanks to the metal remnants of some long dead steps. This tour provides more quality single track than many others I've ridden with over twice the elevation gain. And I can thoroughly recommend it. With a total of about 850 metres of climbing, it is entirely possible to lap it twice in one day. But if climbing is not your thing, you could always take your bike on the train from Altstetten to Stors and navigate from there across to the start of the first trail near St. Danton. This tour is probably a good option for early and late season riding since the highest point is only at about 1,100 meters. However, I think I would probably avoid heading up in wet conditions. While it may not be the best choice of tour for beginners, more advanced riders will definitely not be disappointed. Wow, is it an amazing day. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> nice one, dude. There you go. Awesome. Oh, what a day. sensational. Oh, Thanks for coming along. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.